Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create the, the tape pad footing and the best tool or macro to use to create that particular component. And this tape pad footing normally used most in India. So we are, I'm going to show you how to create the tape pad footing in Tecla structures and the best tool to use and how to apply it and how to, mo to manipulate or customize your, your tape at footing using a special tool in Tecla structures and I'll go straight to applications and component here and I'll click on that and we'll be able to access this uh, a section where we'll be able to retrieve uh, the best tool that can, that can help us in creating the tape at footing Tecla structures so I'll go ahead here and type tape at. this will only appear if it is installed in your Tecla structures setup now I'll click and scroll down and this is what I intend to reach to, to reach to so this is how it looks now uh, once you've invoked the command your, your cursor chain changes and it's asking you to pick the first position where you intend to place that component now let me first of all terminate that command then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll double click on this once again to access uh, its dialog box here and this way we manipulate it to the size of our preference now as it is as at, and it how and uh, and how i mean it is just the way we describe it when we were doing the isolated footing so we'll just go you we'll just go straight and place it in the file in this first position here and just place it right there we'll right click and click interrupt just to get out of that command or to terminate that command and this is how it looks as uh, and as, as i said previously this type of footing this type this type of tapered footing is more applicable and is majorly used in in in, in, in india in indian construction industry now i'll right click and come to interrupt and now we want to double click on it to access or to connect it to dialog box because as it is now it is disconnected because you can see it's gray so i want to double click on it so that we can connect the two so that when you make the modification here it will reflect on this end so if, if you click on empty screen the two get disconnected so whatever you feed in here will not reflect on this end so double click to connect it so that when you feed in the, the parameters here it will it will be reflected on this component it will be customized the way you want it here so if you can see here we have the 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 rotation uh, tools we have the the red here we have the blue so this is the the axis you, you can turn this along this axis and you can also turn this uh, along this axis and you can also turn this along this axis red so that's upon you on how you want this to appear now that is basic and that's not necessary and uh, there's no need it's very difficult to to cast uh, a component in in in, a, in an in, in in an inclined on an inclined position it's it's tedious and uh, it, it will come up a very awkward work now i'll come here and connect the two now i want to adjust and or and customize this to meet whatever i want to see on site now you can see the column base here on top of this so i want this to protrude up by 500 or 600 you can feed that and also both to be 255 to 500 or I can just leave it the way it is to a default so just double click on it and what I'll just change is the 600 column base now from the bottom end here to the far end here we can leave it as it is and you can customize it further if you if you need to so what i'm going to do is just click modify and click apply and give an acceptance there by clicking ok so i can do the same thing selecting everything and isolating the grid once again from the selection and i'll first of all this time around i'll close this and first of all this time around i'll, ch I'll uh, use i'll start with the i'll start with the with the y-axis i'll populate that along the y-axis i'll need three of that i'll need three in that case there it is and again i'll right click here and come to special copy and i'll target the, the x-axis and, and this time i'll get rid of five and i'll feed here six 
meter interval so in this case i have i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and in this case i have one in place already so i don't need ten i just need nine i'll fit nine here so i'll go ahead and click copy everything is in place and in the right position so i'll switch back to plan view so that i'll be able to have a clear view of this i'll select the, the sections i intend to copy so this time I'll, I'll get rid of the far end because when i take it to the other end it will make these this these to be a, a, a duplicate copy so i'll select on that so i'll and, and here I'll get uh, and isolate the grid from the selection from that selection so i'll right click inside here and come to copy then uh, snap on that midpoint then take it to that position right click and interrupt just to terminate that copy command then i'll come back and select the two and isolate the grid from the selection then right click and come to copy then uh, select it from that spot and bring it to this end then i come to my isometric view and this is what we have in place and don't forget to save your work and this is what we have in this particular case i'll save that remember once you save this get this gets get rid of the previous saving so this becomes the current thanks a lot for watching this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then bye bye i'm morris dimba and thank you